Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Horse. This is Horse Chapter 7. Let's see how this goes. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. Chapter 7, Delivering Deck. Alright, we're back. Let's see here. Do I need any money? I do want to figure out how to get up there, yo. Cause I can't jump on top of that. And I can't jump to the ceiling there. So honestly, like... How do you get up there now? You can't jump on top of that shit. You need like some crazy super jump. I wanted to go back in there, honestly. I can't. I missed a whole bunch of fucking loot in there. Can I go in the front door? Is there a door around here now? To the train station. Oh, I need to get a ticket. Means I gotta work at the post office for a second here. The train made its way to Sitcoon. I could get off here to find Alice. Sitcoon, this is Sitcoon. Like I would need a ticket to get through the fairgrounds automatic doors. <laughs> now, oh, shiny. Cheap as chips. Go on then, said the younger man. Stick everything in Bertha. Television not included, sir. That cost two thousand. You got it. We want this insta clean. Oh. Clean even the largest junk in the blink of an eye. Great choice, sir. That cost thirty thousand. Binoculars. The binocular vision upgrade will allow you to carefully examine your surroundings. It retails for 15,000. Oh. I don't know what this does. No refunds on that one, sir. That costs 5,000. We don't need short slots. Alright, where's Alice? I was surprised to find Alice's house was a lot larger on the inside. And strangely, it lacked any color. Curiously this was a ridiculous amount of stairs for such a small cottage. How strange everything was, I remember wondering if I had been changed in the night. Inside was a beautiful brightly colored field, but there was no way I could fit through such a tiny door. Uh, 
Uh... On the table uh -huh. was a large cake. I've never <laughs> eaten anything before, but for some oh. reason I felt compelled to have a taste. It's like Alice in Wonderland. I'm too big. I can fly now, though. Alright. Oh. I'm too high. Suddenly, a large glass bottle appeared. Drink I don't me. know if it was all the growing that I had been doing, but I felt like I needed a drink. Oh, right. Oh, right. 
There, trying to get me. This game just keeps on going with this craziness. Pass that fire. Like that. Dude, this game just keeps on giving. This is so cool.
Off with his head. Shaking the hell out of him.
Nice. Look who I found at the train station, said a distant voice, for some reason they were all dressed as wizards. Oh my god, shouted the voice, stop! Alice explained what was going on, while the man swiftly put my head back together. And this is Simeon, said Alice. The man insisted I called him Sim, and apologized for attempting to hack my CPU. <laughs> Alice laughed, and said, Sorry, Sim tends to sneeze whenever he's stressed or nervous. I was worried you were like other robots. I'm glad you're okay though. I've had mixed results in the past. <laughs> this is Betty, said Sim, and this idiot is Fluffers. It's like they're our children, said Alice, although it's strange, it was them that sort of found us. And even before Sim had reprogrammed them, they were kind of nice to me. Betty even tried to clean up some of my rubbish. So, said Mr. Silton, the reason we're visiting is our little robot friend wants to see Heather and her mum again. Plus he tells me that there's some sort of problem with escaped nanobots in the old house. <coughs> Alice looked puzzled. What do you need me for then, she said. I'm assuming you've not broken the habit of a lifetime and thrown away Sim's security pass. Sim smirked at Alice. It'll be here somewhere. Mr. Silton smiled. Excellent, he said. Then I presume you've still got that video camera you stole when you were working on Richard and Judy. Sim guided us down a set of basement stairs. Well, thanks to Alice's quirky hobby, he sighed as he flicked the light on. We've still got everything. Mr. Silton smiled. Then, he said, I think I've got a plan. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Horse. I hope you enjoyed the video. It wasn't as long as the other ones, thank goodness. Some of those other ones were gruelingly long. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Mixer, Twitter, and Instagram. See you in the next episode.